All right, how about another episode of Hey Mike? What's up with that pen? What are we talking about today? Well, today we're going to talk about uh, some pens made up, more pens made up in Iowa. 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 Iowa's going to bed Iowa. early. But anyway. There's um, a whole quick view of them. Yeah. Now, granted, two of these pens, I say Iowa, two of these pens were not made in Iowa. Let me just get them together. But anyway. Um, Atlas Bowling Products and Perry Austin Bowling Products were in Des Moines, Iowa, or as Robert was joking about earlier, Des Moines. Des Moines. Des Moines. Um, kind of like, uh, uh, what's that, that county down in, near Austin? Um, uh, everybody always gets right. Never mind. Bexar. Bear. Yeah, Be Bexar. Bexar and Bear. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Um. You know when you're around from the area when you know it's Bexar? Right. Whatever. Right. So, anyway, so... Let me start with this first pen. Um, it's the action pen. I don't know if that's a W, if that's a four, <laughs> you know, Roman numeral four. But it was made by Perry Austin Bowling Products of Des Moines, Iowa. It was permit number 61. Um, this one's been used a little bit, but it's in great shape. And on the reverse side, she's got a red eagle. Um, and then you can notice the labeling, the numbering, which was some kind of code to keep track of when they're made. I don't know how it works or what the system is. So you got that one. Well, then we go over here and... Not to be confused with... The Bullseye, uh, made by Atlas Products, incorporated in Des Moines, Iowa. Also number permit 61. Hmm. hmm. Like Merv Griffin. I did... Hmm. Oh, no, no. It was Johnny uh. Carson. I did not know I that. I did not know that. So anyway, so this is permit 61. There you go, Timmy. Yeah. Uh, nylon reinforced, very similar label. Has a little, has the United States right down there. And uh, Did we look at the back yet? Not yet, but okay. then the label, as you know, since it's called a bullseye, it's kind of made to look like a target. Ah. And then on the back, there's a red eagle. Like the Dura Mark. Uh, yeah, like kinda. the Dura Mark and the other action pin. This pin um, has seen some action. Uh, bum, bum, and, bum. Yeah, we uh, actually... Got these in Plainview, Texas. Plainview on our drive up to store. Hereford yeah. and Tulia, Eastridge Lanes, where we mm -hmm. saw the eighty two thirties running Correct. at Hereford. Right, right, right. So, so anyway, check so, out all our other videos. Yeah. So this is the bullseye pen. So we went from this bullseye started dabbling with the Serlinesque type of pens. So you've got this pen. Which and this pen resembles no more of a yeah no base. This pen resembles more of a diamond duramid. Um, this one has a blue eagle on the back. A that one diamond there. duramid. Yes, I'll get it down in a minute. and I'll show you. This one has a blue eagle on the back. It says test pen. Oh wow! So this was a test pen, and again it's got the same label as the red labeled bullseye, but smaller. Stripes are different. Uh, the stripes on those bullseyes, they varied. I've seen stripes closer together and smaller than the stripes real far apart like that one, Scott. Um, this one, I suspect it probably says Permit 91 on it because they were using the same label. It's kind of it's kind of smeared together. But anyway, same label. But if I get the Duramid down, let me get them. If you look, hmm, hmm. same stripe spacing, same, same, stri base. same molding, same base, same top coat, the yeah. little dimple on the top. So somehow, I think there's a correlation. But of course, the Duramid has the uh, Federation de Bolici Mexicana or that's whatever. That's for another video. I yeah. Think. So anyway, still, but, but still. Need to look at the correlation. Yeah, the something. Someone was in bed with someone. Yeah. So anyway. All so right. Then we this, have this pen. Like I said, it was a test pen. I don't know if it ever came into being. Um, so anyway. But then there was a pen, the Vivas pen. Um, Vivas. Vivas. It says uh, made by the Takashima Takashimaya. Kosakusho Company. So that's not from Iowa. No, that's not from <laughs> Iowa. But if you look, nylon reinforced, plastic coated, permit number 61-A. 61-A. Now what does the A mean? That's 
that's 60, here's 61, 61A. What is the A? Meaning now? it's a different, it's a different permit number, kind of like, you know, 61A, 61B. Right. So this one has a red eagle. And if you notice, like this one, it has the light, the numbers right there again. Okay. So um, this was also made in Iowa, um, but it was made to go with or made by the same Ooh, company now that's a good that makes pin. the same. This is the same pin, but this is the Japanese version. So mm -hmm. um, this pin was a made in Japan model and has the Japan Bowling Congress approval logo on the back. So I don't know if Atlas made these, ended up making these pins for them. So you've got, you've got these two guys, very different, but very much related. So, um, different stripes for sure. Oh yeah. Different stripes. And of course, different logos. Of course, Those this was multi-co stripes. Yeah. These stripes are real thick. And I've seen other Vivas pins on like jowls and stuff. I've seen the stripes skinnier, higher up in the neck, further apart in the neck. So it, it's just a, a kind of a thing. Even AMF and Brunswick, when they make pins today, always make the labels high, low, you know, stripes higher, stripes lower. It's just one of those things. Right. Um, lastly, we've got this Argo pin. Um, Argo. It's the Argo right 300. Permit number six, ooh, is that, let me see, 62. Um, this pen, I believe, was Canadian made. Uh, I have to look. I got an old permit list. I have to double check it. But, <coughs> excuse me, I apologize. Um, this one is Canadian made, I do believe. Um, it's got a, you know, eagle like that on the back. Um, despite having a neck crack and a big plastic patch, which sure. that was not uncommon to do with plastic coated pens, was patch, patch them up. up you know, because you've got your worth. It still still sounds pretty crisp. Um, there's also another version I've seen of this one where this label is completely red. Huh. Um, a guy, I did find a guy in Canada that was selling some, but... Couldn't get them? Couldn't get them. Yeah, and then the, the, the ad just disappeared. Huh. So, huh. yeah, huh. Anyway, so well, that's that's another set of pins there. All right. Well, thanks for watching the latest episode. Yeah. Hey, Mike, what's up with that? What's pin? up with that pin? Till next time.